All right, so yes, guys, I am back with another video. Uh, my eyebrows and lashes are already on. Of course, if you didn't read the title, this is an overdue Fenty Beauty review. Um, eyebrows and lashes are already on. Eyebrows, of course, you guys. Um, NYX uh, brow pencil in the color espresso. Uh, just a tad bit on the end of my um, eyebrows. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown. I um, concealed them with MAC NC45 um, standard duo combo. These eyelashes are from Beauty Le Supply. Uh, Beauty Supply, real niggas out there. Um, these are the Christiana number 118. So like I said, again, I am going to do the um, Fenty line. Um, of course, this is super overdue. I've had some of the foundation and some items for a while now, but I just kept going back. Originally, I had a lot of samples of like the 450 um, by her. Obviously, that shade is too dark for me. Um, even the shade that I'm about to use now, which is the 440, is going to be a tad bit darker uh, than I would like, but it blends in a lot better with my neck. So I am gonna go ahead and try it, but I found out that 430 is my actual shade. I went back and forth like a couple of times. Um, so I have the foundation, the soft matte, the um, concealer in the color suede. I have her beauty sponge, her uh, precision beauty sponge. I have her Fenty Glow lip gloss that I am going to put on there and then uh, with no lip liner. And then I have This is what I was waiting on, okay? So I had this stuff for a while, but I just had to get it ordered and some other nonsense. But let's jump right into it with the soft matte. Mind you, I've tried the testers of this stuff before, so I'm like, okay, let me let me go ahead and get it done real quick. Um, I don't really too much have to talk about the packaging because y'all know this packaging gives me life. Like literally the box is so Rihanna, like it's so defined. Um, the actual bottle is sleek, really sexy, really Rihanna, okay? Um, and that's for all of the packaging. Um, so it took me a long time to do this review for a few reasons. One, I am not a big person on buying things. Ooh, it's so creamy. A big person on buying things based on whose name is behind it. Like, ooh, that right there, nice. So this is super creamy, which I love. Now it is a soft matte. Uh, for a person that has oily skin, it feels good. I don't feel like my face is gonna be like dry. Maybe you guys should moisturize before you do this. Um, I would, but of course I just want to try her products in, you know, bare form without anything masking it. And of course we know she doesn't have anything for eyebrows as of yet. So of course I just went ahead and filled in my products. But initially, like I said, this is super creamy, super nice. I don't feel um, dry. I don't feel like my skin is going to crack. I like that it's starting to get a little tacky, not too, you know, like it's pulling my skin tight or anything like that, but I do feel like I'm good and I'm set with no issues. And as y'all know, my hair is always wet, so if you see a couple of whatevers, it is good. But so far, so good. I do like this, um, like this primer. I like this, you guys. So, my box is on the floor. I'm not picking that up. Uh, I am a little pressed for time, though, because I'm getting ready for church. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Um, no, let me stop playing with God. You know he don't play like that. Um, yeah, so now I am going into the 440 foundation. This is taking me so long to open. I'm like breaking nails the past couple of days, y'all. And it's been annoying me. If y'all know how I am about my nails, y'all gonna be like, yeah, yeah, we know. 
All right, so the foundation obviously comes in another bottle like this. Again, this is the uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the color 440. Again, you guys know I am 430, but I'm still gonna review this, okay? Because I honestly do, when I was testing the foundation out, I like the fact that it feels like skin. Uh, one thing that I did find out though, that it dries very quickly. So what I'm gonna do is, Pump it onto my face instead of onto a beauty blender or anything like that because it's so liquidy that it sucks in. It sucks into whatever product you put it on or whatever um, brush or beauty blender. It sucks it in to where the foundation is not getting onto your skin. So what I'm going to do is take my IT brush by um, that I picked up from Ulta and then um, just do it in sections so we can actually see what the blend and the consistency is. But it's super liquidy. I already know that for a fact because I tried it before. So here it goes. It's taking a minute because it's new. Now, I know you don't need a lot, which is why I'm irritated that I just did all of that. But nonetheless, I'm going to blend that baby out. So, it's pretty cool. It's a nice warm shade. Like I said, I could go a tad lighter, but it is nice. Feels like skin for sure. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on my face, which I kind of like. Uh, tend to find that since I am oily, I have to kind of pack product in because uh, I need it to stay. I'm gonna just put a little bit more, guys. So nice. So nice, so nice. Now, if you would like to, because I do see my brush moving this around a lot um, faster than I would like it to. If I were you guys, I would probably pump it in with my um, finger first, which I'm probably going to do on the other side, just to see the difference. It's a nice flawless finish, so I will say that. Um, get the ear, you know. You want to look like one person and not two. Okay. Soft matte for sure. This is not something that you can um, wear if you are going to be in the sun. I kind of feel that way. Like if you're going to be in the sun like all day, um, this might not be for you. Um, however, let me actually try to put... And who knows? I'll come back and let you guys know uh, later on. Let me pat it into my nose and see how I feel. Medium to buildable coverage for sure. It is definitely that. Okay, I like the blending of the fingers a lot better than I do with the um than with the brush. So maybe it's one of those products that you have to just it's not maybe, it is one of those products that you have to try based on the brushes that you use. Now I have heard a lot of reviews and seen a lot of reviews that the brushes that she have um, are not like spectacular. They're good brushes, but they're not brushes you're like, oh, I gotta have it in order to apply um, this Fenty um, foundation. I need the Fenty brush, it's not that. Um, so I'm gonna pop this back onto my finger and just start. Blend it in. This is gonna take long, so I might speed this up. I don't know yet, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, this foundation could be a little bit lighter in areas on my face, but it does work. Um, It does work, it does work. I have to honestly say I do like the foundation though. Primer is working well in form and aligned with it. I don't have any issues with those. And mind you, most of this product I've tried before, but again, it took me a while because although I'm a friend of Riri Music, I'm like, Riri don't 
know what she doing when it comes to this makeup stuff, girl. Stay in your line. But this is really lame. Like, as y'all see right here, it does match down here except right here. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get that together. But I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, I'm going to just have to go with this because this is going to take forever. Forever. Together. Y'all don't mind me. Like, it's super early in the morning. 8 o'clock service be like, okay. For the worshipers out there, where are you? Why are you watching this video and not in church? To be honest, this video probably not going to be posted until tomorrow, so you're probably not in church. So, <laughs> disregard, disregard. It's so pretty, so flawless. I can dig it. I can, ooh. My forehead look a little stupid without no foundation on it, but hey, we working on it. We are working on it. You know what, this this foundation might not be too bad, too bad for me. Like if on certain days I would be able to use um, this foundation. Sorry, I wanna see. Probably too much for my forehead since my freaking hair is blocking it anyway. But regardless. Uh oh. I'm about to mess up the brow. And if you know me, it take me a minute on these brows, bro. I feel like my eyebrow be balding. Like what? Where is you going, fam? What is you doing with yourself? Let me get under it a little bit. Just coat my lid in the residue, in my foundation's residue, so it's not too bright from the um, from the NC45 that I have under there. All right, guys, here it is, foundation. It does feel like really flawless. I know a lot of people are using this as an example, but it does feel like skin like literally your skin on um your face not like an extra person or anything crazy like that but just the fluidity of it i'm not having any issues with okay i'm here for it here for it mm, mm, mm. not really caring about how uh, high my foundation is going up under my eyes because of course i'm about to use the concealer on it so let me um this is the, i'm not sorry the matchstick matchstick i have the matchstick in the color suede now the girl the first i went to uh, let me tell y'all i went to a couple of sephora's packaging fire 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 and desire earth wind and fire okay and I heard that these are magnetic. I don't have another product to match it with, but they are magnetic. I've seen other people uh, do it. This is creamy. Reminds me of the color Fawn in um, LA. LA Girl Cosmetics. All right. They're showing you how much product is in it, which is a lot, a lot of product. Um, you might not run out of this in a while, ladies. Let me pull this down. I don't need that much. I'm just going to church, amen? Hallelujah. Okay. Um, creamy. Very smooth uh, application. I'm trying to decide if I should got a shade um, lighter. I feel like Rihanna's products was for a natural look and not a beat to the gods, honey, look. You know? Regardless, I fancy it. Fancy it quite a bit. 
Now, the only thing I'm concerned about with creamy products is that the blending consistency is kind of hard. Um, it doesn't blend out as well, well, creamy products in general, but we will see when it comes to this lovely product. My alarm is going to go off soon, so if you hear it, it's your guard. Um, it's telling me to hurry up and get out the house. Okay? But God knows what I'm doing right now. Okay, so um, sponge. This is her sponge, her precision sponge. It's quite nice, but I will say this. Um, it's not like any other beauty blender that you haven't seen. Um, in comparison, it's cool. Density is a good um, amount. Feel is good. Only reason why I really got the brushes for this piece here for when you do under the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Now I'm seeing a lot of product coming off of my face and onto the sponge. I'm not necessarily a fan of that. I would have to wash this brush like every day. I mean, wash this beauty blender every day. But it's blending quite nicely. I'm not opposed to the seamless look that it's giving me. I'm actually in favor for it. Amen. Super nice. Super pretty. Just fresh. This is fresh. Let me blend this out so I can really see. This is a look. Ooh, this scripture. This scripture. <laughs> Can we turn to the book of Rihanna? Chapter 3. Okay. Verse 1 and 2. Thou shalt baptize thy skin. Infinity. No, <laughs> let me chill. But this is so nice. Still a lot of product. I'm really I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. But I am a fan of the blending process in this. But I honestly feel like any other any of my other beauty blenders would have did quite the same. I think it's based more so on the product than it is on um, this, the um, foundation and concealer products than it is on this. Y'all, my thing is blinking. My camera blinking. Talk about this low battery. That's crazy. That's crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this out a little bit more. Come back with my church clothes on because you know it's about to be time for me to go. And then I'm going to put on the holy, holy grail of Trophy Wife. I'll put on a lip gloss for you guys now though. Now I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to wait till we get that Cupid's bow done. But so far, it's a really well put together look. Um, I don't feel like I have 14 people on my face. I feel like I feel like wearing this makeup, I still look like myself. Um, a lot of makeup and a lot of other brands, once you build them on, you just look like, okay, ma'am, who are you? I met this one girl named Brie, but now when I met you, I don't too much know her. Where your face go? Um, I feel like myself. I feel like, I feel natural, but I also feel pretty and I feel sleek and radiant and not over the top. But this uh, trophy wife I'm about to put on you it's for sure about to be over the top. So, um, oh, before I go and change, 
the um I did not get the um the other stick the other my chic, the little sets. I end up just using my own because literally it's the same color. It reminds me of LA Girl. I don't really need it. Like I said, my face kind of automatically does this on its own. But I will um, do a little bit. Nothing major. Okay. So let's do that. Using my foundation brush still because I don't want to be um, too crazy. Just blend that out a little bit. See? Oh, that's really seamless. Ooh, scandalous. Who remember recess? In the comments, if you remember recess, who is your favorite character? Clearly, mine was the Ashley's. They was annoying. They got on my nerve, but they was dressed so cute. So cute. All right, BRB. All right, and I'm back, and I'm back, and I'm back. So first I'm going to put on the Fenty Trophy Wife. Y'all, I'm here for this. Mind you, I tested it out in the stores, but it is, I can't even explain it. It is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So, I am going to take my, one or another of my um, eyeshadow brushes from uh, It by Ultim. Gonna go ahead and get a little bit of that. Oh, it comes on like it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna wanna fight me. Oh, oh, oh Lord, you better be merciful. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't who, who, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> okay. All right. This nice. This real nice. Okay. All right. All right. That's enough. Call them. Call, call the cops. Y'all, I am hype about this. Like, I don't even want to blend it out. I don't even want to blend it out. Whatsoever. I'm going to church just like this. Hello, how you doing? Hello. Did you see the glow? Hello, how you doing? This is so cute. I'm going to blend this out with my fingers just a little bit, just so I can see what it looks like all together but it is a very beautiful radiant gold um a lot of people were telling me that they feel like this color is not going to look right on everybody however i disagree just because it's about the amount of buildup that you have you don't have to wear you know layers like i'm putting on you can be simple and just take your finger and dab it out. You know, it doesn't have to be like this, obviously. And I feel like it works on a lot of skin tones and all pigments. Like, it really does. And a lot of people are telling me that they can't find their shade um, for the Fenty stuff. I would say to that is maybe you have to mix, you know. Maybe you went to the wrong Sephora person who think they know what your shade is, but they don't know. Um, like the one girl that helped me first. I'm like, girl, I am not 460. Like, who? Who? Bro, have nothing against my dark skin babies. I love y'all. But I don't want to look like a crazy person when my hand and my face don't match. 
That's not the thing. That's not it. I'm not, I'm not here for it. I'm not going to be here for it. So, therefore, uh, just test it out a few times. I think I went back and forth to Sephora maybe three or four times in a row. Um, tried some other Sephora's. And a lot of this stuff is out online. Like, it is sold out. Like, she really did her thing with this, uh, with this product. And I truly, truly like it. Everything. I think Trophy Wife is obviously my favorite. Can we, can we, can we just be here in the moment for it? Be here in the moment for it. In the moment for it. Like, this is great. This will probably be in my holy grail for everything. I'm going to do a 2017 holy grail at the end of this year. So that way you guys can know uh, which products I am going to take with me to 2018 and so on and so forth. Some things that I'll never get rid of. Um, now what is left for me to do is put on this. Sorry, my shoulder, my shoulder pad is trying to come out on y'all. Um, put on a Fenty Glow. Okay. Another beautiful, beautiful packaging. Beautiful box. Let's see what this lip hidden for. Now, I almost want to. I'm sorry, I told you I wasn't going to put on no lip liner with this, but I am just because I kind of want to see um, a little bit of a really defined Cupid's bow. Uh, so, I am going to use my NYX suede matte lip liner in the color uh, Stockholm. Okay. But I'm just gonna do literally my cupid's bow in the outline, just so that I'm not like you know. So get that. Mm. Now this color is a little peachy. But I think so is the um, Fenty Glow. I've heard it's a little peachy. I tried it out a little bit, but it's not like... I didn't, you know, go full-fledged into it. So, I'm just going to blend this nicely. I don't need nothing extra. Blah, blah. Blah blah blah, and then now, oh, this is a really large stick. Like, I don't know why this stick is so large, but it's super large, you guys. Um, This smells really good, like, really good. I, I, I kind of like it. Maybe I would try to um, use a different lip liner next time. I wasn't going for this. I think I was going to do something a little bit darker in my head. Um, but I do like it. It's one of those things where you gotta like uh, apply it how you like. A lot of people told me like the matte uh, matte lip liner cork is really good for this. Let me just brush out those aggravating parts. But yeah, guys, this is it. This is the look. Look at that trophy wife though. Like. We're here for it. Super, super here for it. Mm. Sorry, guys. Um, my camera keeps trying to die on me. Like, I'm over that. Um, but anyway, I put on the uh, Fenty Glow lip gloss. I do like it a lot. Um, I just went into my tear ducts a little bit with the uh, Nubian 2 by Juvia's Pace Palette. Uh, I did the color Zuri just dropped that into my tear ducts I felt a little plain Jane and dry so I wanted to kind of 
at something to my face. But I do like this look. Overall, I am a huge Fenty fan. Uh, if it boils down to it, I like the seamless look. I like the effortless glow. This is one of those looks where you don't have to do too much. Um, you can either like dress it up, like of course with a lot of eyeshadow and um, some stronger cheekbones, and you know you can play up that that trophy wife if you want to. But um, I'm just going to church, so not necessary for me. But Love this look. Love, 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 love. Uh, Fenty overall, A++ for me. She needs to come out with some setting power and then some eyeshadow pigments. Uh, those will probably be the best bet. Right now, I am just going to use my NYX finishing. Um, mini finish mat. I don't need a lot. Just enough to where I'm set for the rest of the day. Uh, and then my next video, right before I film, I'm going to give you a second part of this review and tell you how long it lasted. Maybe even upload some pictures so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, remember to explore all of your talents. Your flower has more than one petal. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.